Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today we are going to discuss a very interesting and very important topic called standard deviation. I know many of us already know about what is standard deviation and how it is being used but I still see there are a lot of confusions around uh, this terminology standard deviation and what exactly does it mean and sometimes it actually gets into our nerve right <laughs> okay we will simplify it for you and you will see in next five seven minutes you will actually understand the concept okay let's start with a very simple example say you have seven friends right and you have measured their height okay in centimeters for example now you can see uh, you know I could just bring this photo uh, and uh, it does show uh, seven people and let's assume they are your friends and their heights are measured in centimeter now I will be also showing some Python code along with it but if you are not comfortable with Python programming or you are just you know starting up you can actually ignore the Python part but if you are already familiar with Python programming so go ahead and just use it for reference okay or double check you might say <laughs> all right so I'm just using a small table and here I have noted down the height of uh, the friends and there are seven of them so I can see Michael is 168 centimeter Cartel is 184 centimeters Linda 150 and so on all the way up to Lisa 155 centimeter now in pandas uh, i'm just giving an additional information here if you're not a programmer again as i told you you don't have to use the code okay in order to understand standard deviation so in pandas typically uh, we see that there is a serial number 0 1 2 3 automatically assigned to our data set but in this case because i'll be now and then referring to the person's name and their height so i would instead use the column name as the index instead of that serial number okay it will make my life a bit more easier and calculations as well so that's why I will use the height dot set underscore index and I will set the name column as the reference point all right very easy so you can see now the serial number is gone and I have my name as the reference point okay everything remains the same now abracadabra <laughs> I'll convert the height into a bar chart so that it becomes easier to visualize all right and I'm such a creative genius you can see I have used the color of the bar it's quite similar to the shirt the color of the shirt they are wearing <laughs> okay ah, I know I'm genius <laughs> just kidding all right so these are the bars and you can see uh, and this is also my way of translating a real world picture uh, into a more of a technical side, right? Uh, not to scare you, but this is what people do. They try to minimize it, right? Or derive it. So same, uh, all the heights are represented exactly in the same order in the picture, okay? Michael, Cartel, Linda, all the way up to Lisa, okay? So from here, I'm interested in understanding the analysis for the heights how much they vary what is their average and so on so um, first of all I will ask you a few questions okay and I will also give you the answers <laughs> I'm a good teacher right <laughs> okay so who is the tallest uh, friend from here I can simply use the function idx max and I get its cartel and I can use the dot max function to get the value exact value so cartel is 184 which I can see from the picture above and I also know the minimum height is for Emily, which is 145 centimeter. All right, so that means the range of the height for my friends are between 145 centimeter and 184 centimeter. So far, so good, right? I think it is pretty straightforward. No fancy things here. You don't have to use Python at all. You can just simply even see it and say who is the tallest and who is the shortest, right? Now question comes typically among the statisticians, right, that out of these seven friends, first of all, of course, what is their average height? Because it gives me some estimation of the group. Also, I would like to know how each member's height is different from the average. That's of also of some value in terms of statisticians, uh, you know, practice. And they have come up with this uh, little bit weird looking, uh, looking expression and it says, individual height minus 
x bar, which is the mean or the average of the height, take, square them, sum them all of it and divide by total number of people or total number of uh, observations minus 1 and take a square root of that. And this will give us some numbers back. And if I use the dot standard deviation formula dot std from the pandas library, I immediately see the height standard deviation is 13.98, roughly 14 centimeter. But wait, uh, 14 what? It should be in the same unit of our data. So in our data here is related to centimeters, which is in which is the height. Um, so I'm explaining standard deviation also in terms of height. Okay, in terms of centimeter. All right. So now I see that uh, standard deviation is 14 centimeter. And if I calculate the mean, again, I can do that by dot mean function. And I get it is around 162.42 centimeters again. All right. So if I use the picture again, and if I see my mean is 145, my max is 184, and my average is 162.43. But now tell me, I still haven't understood what is standard deviation here? Okay, let's rotate the graph a little bit. Okay, still the same picture. I have just rotated it by 90 degree clockwise so that I can see to my left is 145 centimeter as the minimum. To my right is 184 centimeter max and in between somewhere is 162.43. I've rounded it up and it's the average. Now, where does this 14 things come from, right? Okay, now, I want to show you something interesting. Let's first of all calculate the standard deviation step by step. So in order to calculate the standard deviation, what do we need? Let's go up. So we need the individual height, which we already have. We need the mean, which is the X bar, which we already calculated, which is 162.43. We can square it, of course, we can sum them up. There is no variable there. And here is, in our case, is the number of friends, which is seven. All right, so we have all the values that we need for calculating the standard deviation, but let's do it step by step. Okay, so first of all, I have the height. If you see on the top, I have the height. I have calculated the mean. The mean will be same for all the people here. And now if I subtract this mean from each of the height, I will get something called as how far are each of this height from the average, right? Very simple standard mathematics here. So you can see Michael is about 5.5 centimeter away from or shorter from in this case uh, from uh, the average height. Cartel is 21 centimeters taller. Linda is again, you know, shorter and so on. All right. Now, if you see, uh, now if I can also square them as per the formula for the standard division, I can say far from average squared, which is nothing but 5.57 squared, 21.57 squared, minus 12.4 squared and so on. Okay, and I know that I have to take an average because I have to divide it by the total number of uh, friends here. So I get a number called 167.67 and so on. And once I have this number, I remember I have to take a square root. And finally, I get 13.986. So if you see, I, if I followed step by step manually, I can get this and I can instead quickly get it by using the pandas.std function both gives me the same number that is for around about 14 centimeter okay i have also put some extra additional text so you can read them uh, you can pause the video you can read them just little bit more explanation how dot all these functions work for people who are non-programmers okay now what i have done here is i have calculated the standard deviation in both ways using the dot std function as well as step by step now the question comes, what does this 14 centimeter represent, right? So if you see here, I put the list all over again. Michael was 5.57 centimeter away from uh, the average. Cartel was 21.57 centimeters away from the average and so on. I have taken the absolute value because height, negative height doesn't make any sense. So I've taken the positive values. Now if you see, out of seven friends, five of them, Okay, that includes Michael, Linda, Peter, Jack, and Lisa. Five of them are within 14 centimeter from the average height. So five centimeter is within 14 centimeter. Linda's 12.42 is within 14 centimeter. Peter's 2.4 is within 14 centimeter. Jack and Lisa, same thing. They are between zero and 14 centimeter, right? So what does it say? It says that 
squeezing the standard deviation i get to know okay how many people how majority of the people are within a certain value in this case i can once i know the standard deviation i can say that how many people are there within a certain value and what is that value i'm more interested in so if i want to know what is the majority of the people where do they reside in short i want to know how are they spread out right how are those individual values are spread out and how are they spread out from the average that is my main intention because as we will see in in few one more few more minutes standard deviation tells me how the data is spread out and spread out here is a plain english term okay how i want to know how the shape looks like and how are the individual value how far are they from the average i'm repeating the same thing now that you have understood what the standard deviation does so i can say that majority of the people or majority of the friends in this example are within my standard deviation so that means five friends out of 17 are within 14 cm from the average and these informations are very crucial for me when i do data analysis and in our subsequent videos of course we'll explain you how to utilize this information in order to do further analysis but let's look few more examples so that we can consolidate our uh, understanding about standard deviation in this uh, pencils picture let's imagine you have 15 friends and i have just represented them using colorful pencils okay and if you see all of them are of same height and let's assume they are all 160 cm tall in this case the average height will be 160 cm tall right because see 160 plus 160 plus 160 all the way you know summing them 15 times and dividing by 15 i will still get back the same 160 cm but what is the standard deviation the standard deviation would be zero because 160 minus 160 for my first friend is zero 160 minus 160 is equal to zero for my second friend and so on so eventually i will get standard deviation is zero now if you see it makes sense that when standard deviation is zero it's saying that none of my other numbers are actually not away from the average that means they are actually the same value as the average that means all my population are of the same height does it make sense now right so in short standard deviation gives you a numerical language to say how different your population is and when my friends were of different height standard deviation had a certain value and when my all my friends were of the same height standard deviation is zero that means standard devi deviation is nothing but a fancy way statisticians are using to explain how different my individual values are from the average okay all right but <laughs> who is interested in height right i am interested in money <laughs> okay let's use the same concept of standard deviation uh, while picking stock options okay so per a person say had to choose between two stocks stock a over the past 20 years had an average return of 10% with a standard deviation of 20 percentage points now can you relate this 20 percentage point of standard deviation that means in the entire 20 years the maximum a and the minimum that stock price went up and down majority of the time it was within a variation of 20 percentage points in our height example majority of our friends are within 14 cm okay that means it somebody was above the average somebody was below the average in case of stock stock market you can say sometimes it went so say you purchased a uh, stock option for 100 dollars sometimes it went up 100 uh, by say 20 points or sometimes it got reduced because stock market keeps going up and down right similarly there is a stock b and over the past 20 years had an higher average return of 12% in this case but a standard deviation also changed from 30 that means it it was fluctuating even more it was spread out more right so if you are a person who don't want to take a risk you might want to go with stock a but if you are a person like me <laughs> a little bit who is willing to take risk might go with option b but you also see there is a probability that i might also lose money because it's going in extreme in both cases right standard deviation doesn't say which way it only says how spread out it is it can be 
less than the average or it can be beyond the average, right? Again, if I had in my life a third option for stock C and stock C's average return was 15% and the standard deviation was zero percentage points, that means all the time it used to give me an average of 15%. Guess what? My money is rolling in and in and in with zero risk. That is, it is definitely going to return 15% with no risk. I just wish <laughs> all stock would have been like that and I would have been a millionaire by now. But that's not how life is. But you get the point. When standard deviation is zero, that means it is certain, kind of certain that it will be within this value, right, as mentioned. So for example, continuously 15%. So if you see the top graph, no fluctuations at all. It kept rising. Or could have been a flat line, like a 15% dot, right? No variations. Those kind of options obviously uh, will be game changer, uh, will become rich. But then typically your real world stock prices are like this yellow color and the green ones which keep fluctuating. Standard division gives you how much are they fluctuating from the average. So with that, I think you have understood what standard division is. And if you have any doubts, I will be more than happy to clarify it. Just put a uh, comment, uh, you know, in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them. So until we use this analysis uh, concepts in further analysis, just stay, subscribe to our channel and get back to you with more content and relevant examples. Till then, have a great day.